you're welcome. How to simplify this nine squares problem from here? We can write this as square root of what we have in the numerator as the square root of root 128 here. We can write it as 2 times 64, then plus here as well. We have square root of 2 times 28. Then over what we have in the denominator, we can as well write that as square root of root 50 here, we can write it as 2 times 25, then plus root 48 here, we can write it as root 2 times 24. Then in the next step, we can separate this, and this can be written as square root of root 2 times root 64 then plus root 2 times root 28 and uh, divided by here yeah, also we can separate this as well and this will give us square root of root 2 times root 25 then plus root 2 times root 24. Then here we have root 2 common in the you know, numerator here. And from there we have square root of root 2 into bracket. What is left here? We have root 64. Then plus here root 28 is left there. Then divided by also from the numerator from the denominator here as well. We also have root two common there. And when we factor that out as well, we have square root of root two into bracket root twenty five plus root twenty four. Then close bracket. And from here we can separate this as well because we have square root of this so this root 2 contain this square root as well so we can say this is root square root of root 2 then times square root of root 64 then plus root 28 then also divided by here as well we have square root of root 2 then times square root of root 25 plus root 24 then here this you know is common here yeah, cancel out then we are left with square root of root 64 and root 64 here is 8 so we have square root of 8 plus root 28 then divided by here root 25 that's 5 so we have square root of 5 plus root 24 then we can express 28 here as 4 times 7 and this as 4 times 6 so we now have square root of 8 plus root 4 times 7 then over square root of 5 plus root 4 times 6 and also from here we can separate this as root 4 times root 7 then this become square root of 8 plus root 4 times root 7 then over square root of 5 plus root 4 times root 6 then from here root 4 same thing as you know 2 there so and this becomes square root of 8 plus 2 root 7 then over here square root of 5 plus 2 root 6 
and from here we can express each of these in this form that is we have a square plus b square plus 2ab and this is of course a plus b all square so when we express this in that format from the numerator we can write that as square root of here it can be written as 1 plus 7 then plus 2 root here we can write it as root 1 times 7 and from there also the denominator we can write that as square root of 5 can be written as 3 plus 2 then plus 2 root here we can write it now as 3 times 2 that is root 6 and uh, from here we can also separate it and uh, we can write 1 here as root 1 square so this becomes square root of root 1 square then plus also 7 can be written as root 7 square then plus 2 multiply by root 1 times root 7 then divided by also from here we can write this as square root of 3 can be written as root 3 square then plus root 2 square then plus 2 times root 3 times root 2 from here then when we look at this this follows from what we have here in form of a square plus b square plus 2ab equals to a plus b then a square here in the numerator a is root 1 and root 1 is still 1 and b is root 7 so we have square root of 1 plus root 7 you know a square here in the numerator then divided by from the denominator here we have square root of a here is root 3 so we have root 3 plus b is root 2 so root 2 all square now from here and here the square we cancel the square roots it will remain here 1 plus root 7 then divided by also square cancel square root here remain root 3 plus root 2 and from here we can rationalize this and multiply with the conjugate sort of the denominator so we have times root 3 minus root 2 and also divide by that so over root 3 minus root 2 and from here this we multiply each other and also this we multiply each other then when we open the bracket of 1 times root 3 that's root 3 then 1 times minus root 2 that's minus root 2 then we have root 7 times root 3 that's plus root 21 then root 7 times root 2 that's minus root 14 there then over here these are conjugate sort and then we can write that as root 3 square minus root 2 square then from here this becomes root 3 minus root 2 plus root 21 minus root 14 now over here we have this cancel this we have 3 minus also this cancel this we have 2 then 3 minus 2 there is 1 so we have root 3 minus root 2 plus root 21 minus root 14 now then over 1 and when you divide something by 1 it is the same thing as that thing so here we now say we have this to be equals to we can write it as root 21 then plus root 3 then minus root 2 and minus root 14 so here we have the simplified
simplified form of this given problem. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to put your comment in the comment section. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.